Hey everybody, Rude the Gaming Dad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we are showing off one of the most essential items you can have in S+, and that is the Omni Tool. So it's obviously super cheap to make, it just takes one thatch. But what it does is far more valuable than one piece of thatch. So we'll open it up here, and we'll just hold R, and you can see all of the things this Omni Tool can do. So the first thing that it can do, we'll just start from the right, is the basic transfer. So if you have items that need to move from one structure to another, so we've got some element shards here, and we're going to right click on that dead storage, and you can see it says source set dead storage. We're going to put it in our auto crafter here because it makes element for us, and then it transfers all of those resources, and it created the element for us. Same rules apply in reverse. We'll hit right click the auto crafter, right to our element, puts it right where it needs to go. So, real simple, real basic one click one item to another very easily the next thing you can do is the advanced transfer and the advanced transfer as long as you're within range of the items and the range is pretty pretty far you have some real control over what you want to put and where so for instance we'll just choose giant bee honey and we're going to take all the giant bee honey from our structure all of our structures and we want to put it into our S plus dedicated storage that we have set up. So I'll walk over here and show you. So there's our giant bee honey. And outside the door here, we have all of our beehives. So you can see it's got all of that honey ready to go. So you can do a basic transfer. You could click each one and click the dead storage, but that can be kind of a pain. So the, what the advanced transfer does is, like I said, we'll go from all structures and we'll do giant bee honey and we're just going to put it right into the S plus dedicated storage and we'll hit transfer and what that does you can see it's 31,187 <laughs> bee honey was now transferred out into the dead storage so there you go so it just consolidates everything and puts it away so pretty cool if you just want to kind of stand in base here and just start moving things around without having to mess around too much, you can use the advanced transfer. So the next one is the inventory assistant. This is kind of cool if you're just running around, you know, gathering meat, doing your thing on the map, and you click the inventory assistant, you can kind of set it up to where anything that in the game that you get in your inventory, if you don't really want it, it'll either destroy it, drop it, things like that when you're riding, when you're not riding. But if you don't want any armor that's less than journeyman picked up it's just going to drop it or destroy it same thing for weapons same thing same thing for saddles any skins recipe ammo all those things it can set it up to where you can either destroy it drop it how often you do it when like i said if you're riding a dino not riding a dino it's pretty cool so it can kind of keep you moving pretty simply the next one is dedicated storage now this one's really cool so what we're going to do, we'll, we'll get rid of this for a second. We're just going to start pulling some items from dead storage here. So we're just going to withdraw some stuff. We'll just start walking around here. We're going to grab just random stuff. It's metal. Now we're full. So now what we're going to do, so we've, what we've got in the inventory is all of these items. And we'll drop some of this stone just so we can actually move around since we're encumbered but you can see we've got all this stuff in our inventory and we want to put all this stuff in dedicated storage but we don't really want to walk up to each one of these dead storages and hit deposit so what we do is we're just going to hit dedicated storage and we're going to right click and it just sends all of it to each dead storage and you're good to go so again you come back from out and about on the map you've got random resources you can just hit the dead storage right click and it's done the next is one of my favorites, and that's the teleporter. So if you have an S plus teleporter and it's powered with multiple generators, you have the ability to do a lot of different things. And we do have a video um, in our S plus playlist that can show you how to do this. But just a right click, I can go to any one of these different areas and teleport there without having to actually be at the teleporter pad or the teleporter post to be there. And if I right click, it'll also put down a beacon. So if I were to just run away and get myself into trouble and I want to get back to that beacon, I can. There's my rune S plus teleport beacon. And it teleported me from there to there, which is pretty neat. So the teleporter option is amazing when it comes to the Omni tool. 
So we'll teleport back here to base and we'll show off the scanner. So the scanner is great. Again, if you have a get back in the base here, if you have a transmitter that's powered by multiple generators, again, there's a video in the guide on this and how to do it anywhere on the map that you are, you can actually say if we're searching for, let's just see an R giga, it'll tell you that there is a level 135 on the map at 4593. It'll tell you the stats of it down here. And it also gives you kind of a position on the map. Fjorder is a little different because it has different realms, but it does give you the idea or the place to go to where to be able to find those dinos. So especially helpful if you're trying to gather trophies. So if you're on the island and you're looking for alphas to go for the tech cave, like this here, it would tell you where this alpha rex is. You can go ahead and kill it. So it makes things like that super cool and super simple. So the last mode is RTS mode. So RTS mode is pretty cool. We're going to open up, we're going to left click, and it kind of gives you a bird's eye view of the area. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. You can only go so far as far as zooming out. But what it can do here is you can see I've got some text riders here, and you've got a Carno over there. Maybe we don't want these striders messing with this Carno. And we've selected them. You can select anything in that radius. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move them right over here. And those text riders will move. And it looks like I've selected two and I missed one. So I'm going to select this one and move it over here as well. So you can kind of get a bird's eye view of the base and just kind of get a look, see what's going on. If you, you're using a mouse, you need to hit the middle mouse button and that will bring it back to your view. Because otherwise some people get stuck in RTS mode and they don't know how to get out. You do have to click the, the middle mouse wheel in order to be able to get out. But that is why the... The Omni tool is probably the single most item that you do not want to leave base without because of all of the things that this can do. It makes it super easy to travel the map, find dinos, transfer resources, get a bird's eye view of the base. It just does so many great things. So just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you all on the next video.